Hey guys, welcome back. Well, what you're staring at here is the back of the Mustang with, uh, yes, the trunk removed. Um, <clears throat> and basically what I'm in the middle of doing, or what got me going on this, was basically making this Mustang safe. And I did notice uh, that my taillights were not working, or my brake lights weren't working. So, I started to dive into the brake lights, uh, which you'll see here, and this is how I was kind of testing them. I set them up here and I was hitting my uh, brake. But, you know, over the years, someone's gotten to them and just done really bad wiring on them, and it's just, it's just bad all the way around. These uh, prongs are busted on the uh, sockets, and it's just, it's old and bad. So, I started pulling that apart, and I'm gonna get into the wiring on that. It's fairly simple. Uh, and then as I was doing that, my taillights ha had seen better days. They had all cracking all inside of them. Um, this one over here would leak water. Um, the person that had this before me or the person before him had actually had the old taillight in here and had actually put a bead of clear silicone in there, which was really unsightly too. It was just not done right. So I decided to uh, give Don over at Ohio Mustang a call. Uh, and place an order to uh, basically spruce this ass end up and get it done right. Let's show you what we got. First, on the bench, you'll see the old, here's the old tired tail lights that came out of the Mustang. And while they may, the plastics may be intact and may be valuable to some somebody, um, they've kind of frosted on the inside, so it doesn't allow full light to kind of shine through them. Also, they're, they're cracked around in here and they do leak water somewhere in here. Um, here's the makeshift gasket that someone decided to create with some clear silicone. It's just not a good thing. The gaskets that they came with were all, are all just bad and cracked. Back here on the bezels, you can see that they are originals. And um, they're real chewed up. Uh, where the actual socket goes into the bezel, so it's just bad all the way around, and they're just they're just old and need to be replaced. This one came apart. You can see the old seal here. You know, just then the trim is all it's just nasty. Same situation over here. So that's kind of what brought me to my decision. On replacing these, let's, let's set these down over here. Make room for the new stuff uh, that just came from Ohio Mustang Supply. So first thing, new rear bezels, 71 through 73 Mustang taillight housing. I've got two of these. These are not cheap by any means. So we got two new bezels there. Here, the gaskets, very important. So that's the actual rubber that keeps the weather out of uh, out of the trunk in the car. Very important. We got two new rubber seals. What else is in here? Yeah, I got a um, for the front of it. The badge on the front of it is real faded. You can't really see the red, white, and blue too clearly, so I decided to add a badge for the grill. New emblem. Right there. Good times. Officially licensed. And in these boxes here are how the taillights actually come. And you'll see they're nice and new and not glazed on the inside and you'll actually be able to see the light come on which is really cool very excited about this the back of the Mustang was always uh, less than aesthetically pleasing and these are very very nice very pleased with the uh, quality here and there's your uh, officially licensed Ford product because Don just does not sell junk over there but they're made in China course so these look like they feel like the same quality as the originals so hopefully they'll hold up to the task so that's the taillight situation let's take you over here I'm also going to add the Mach 1 
panel on the tail. This is that honeycomb. This is where the gas tank filler cap goes. I'm going to add this. This is the trim. This is sold in two different pieces. This is the honeycomb trim that goes on the top and bottom that's, that hides the hardware. And here, this piece right here is the piece that flew off and hit the windshield last week when I was driving and I told you. It's the uh, front hood molding that goes up here. You'll see it's missing. And I got my share cleaning up to do. Someone's added some, looks like filler or, and I don't even know. I don't even know what the hell they did. Just some glue or something in there. It all needs to be cleaned out. And to go along with that, got the actual proper mounting hardware to mount the hood peak molding. And all it is is just a series of speed nuts, but they also have gaskets and they're the proper ones. So yeah guys, that's uh, that's the newest update with the Mustang. I'll be replacing those and putting this stuff in next. And I might just pop up the tripod to show you. Oh yeah, one other thing that I did last night is I went on ahead and saved myself some grief in here. It's kind of dark, but these actually are fastened with studs. There's one right here. And I actually mounted the new studs uh, that I got from uh, Ohio Mustang tail lamp assembly. Uh, basically, that's new nuts and studs that replaced the the guy before me had um, uh, just like bolts back there that were kind of just wedged in and kind of holding those tail lights on, kind of half-assed. So let me uh, get to it here, and then I'll uh, post an update of what this thing looks like with this uh, new stuff on there. Thanks for watching. Okay, what I'm doing first here is just kind of mocking up this tail light. Um, and you'll notice, bringing in a frame here, there's this gasket here that slips all the way around the uh, outer bezel. And the way this works is when you lay the tail light back here, you line it up and you start to cinch it down, it creates a pinch on the gasket and it presses the bezel through the actual recessed hole in the body. Now one of the things is that I've noticed is that this Mustang, my Mustang, has no paint here and I had some corrosion. So what I'm doing first is sanding out some of this and you all know that I've been following my channel. I am going to have the car professionally painted but that's not going to stop me from doing this and hitting it with a little color match paint to make sure it looks aesthetically appealing until I can afford to get it to the paint booth. So, save the uh, comments about, oh man, that's not how you paint a car and this and that. I understand that. I'm not a painter. All I'm simply doing is getting some of this rust off and I'm going to make it blue again. There. What I'll do now is hit this with a little bit of blue. Okay, I'm taping off the uh, chrome bumper here. So I don't want any uh, any overspray on the chrome. And this is just simple, like I said, just a simple touch up that I want to do to this. So I just don't don't want it to look shoddy while it's waiting for paint. Go ahead and get a tack cloth now and wipe all that out. Okay, I'm just gonna put this with a little Windex solution. What I've done is I just added some paper back in here so no paint overspray gets into the trunk. I'm only going to be spraying this for a tiny second. This is my color match Ford blue. That'll match that nicely. And I'm just trying to tape off anywhere that already has existing paint on it. 
not looking for a perfect job, just looking for something that's going to clean it up in the meantime. Like I said, so I can get it to paint. Let that set up and then we'll go to the next step. And there you go. All completed. Brand new beautiful tail lights installed. Got the Mach 1 panel installed and uh, actually painted uh, the inner lips on the uh, frame where the um, old silicone was in here. Just a quick paint just to make it look good until I can afford to get it to the paint shop. But uh, what do you think guys? Definitely was a much needed um, improvement from what was originally there. They were just bad. They weren't sealed right. Just a bad situation. There you go. And my license plate number. looks good so to give a kind of a total on parts here if you have a 71 through 73 fastback and you're looking to do the Mach 1 tail uh, and new tail lights you can expect to pay uh, 300 bucks for basically new tail lights gaskets and rear bezels so you got three pieces per unit there so 300 bucks there honeycomb panel which is this black plastic here that's gonna set you back 75 bucks and then the upper and lower trims are around 45 bucks for the pair so uh, not the most cheapest upgrade there is but it definitely it's the entire rear end of the car less the bumper so and that decal was about 15 bucks so that's kind of the rundown guys hope you enjoyed the video I was gonna do a whole installation video on it but I just I don't know it was just so damn simple you just install the studs and uh, basically tighten down the nuts so thanks for watching guys later